So in this lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn the tools which are required so that we could start developing our React app. So the very first thing which is required is that you need a text editor or a code editor to write React code. And the code editor which I would recommend is VS Code. So in order to download VS Code on a Mac or on a Windows machine, simply go to Google, search for VS Code, click on the first link which pops up. And here you could go to the download section to download VS Code for you. So over here, I'll go ahead and simply click on download for Mac. So as I'm using a Mac, I need to download the Mac version. If you are using Windows, download the Windows version. And now after clicking the download button, the download should start. And you just need to open up this installation visit for VS Code. And it should go ahead and set up VS Code for you. So I'll simply go ahead and open this thing up. So now after unzipping this, you could simply open up the file which is VS Code. And it's going to ask you if you want to open this app up. So simply click on open and it's going to open that app for you. So as you can see now Visual Studio is opened up. So on Windows, you need to go through the installation wizard for VS Code and that's going to install and set up VS Code for you. So now once VS Code is installed, the next thing which you need to install is Node. So we are not learning Node.js right now, uh, but you actually need Node.js to create your React project. So simply go to Google, search for Node.js, click on the first link which pops up and over here simply download the LTS version. So right now the version which is available is 18.17.1. So I'll simply click on this, save this particular file and then simply open up the installation wizard for Node. So if I open this thing up, it's going to take me through the installation for Node. So you might get a similar prompt on Windows as well. So simply keep clicking on next and Node.js is going to be installed for you. And if you're on Mac, it's going to ask you for the password before installing Node.js. So make sure that you enter your password, click on install software, and the installation process should start. Now, after Node has been installed, we are pretty much good to go. And in order to confirm if Node is installed, what you could do is you could simply open up a terminal on Mac, or you could open up the CMD or command prompt on Windows. So open up the terminal on your Mac, so this is what the terminal looks like. And over here, I simply need to say node double dash version. And if I hit enter, I should be able to get the node.js version, which is installed right now. So you could do the same thing on windows as well. Simply go to the search bar, search for CMD or command prompt, open up the command prompt, type in node double dash version, and you should be able to get this node version here. So if you're getting node version here, this means that node is successfully downloaded on your machine. So after installing VS Code and after installing node, another tool which I would recommend that you install is the Google Chrome web browser, as we will be doing a lot of React development. Google Chrome is one of the best web browsers which you could use to inspect the code in the console. So Google Chrome actually comes in with a developer console, which we will be using a lot. And other browsers have this developer console as well. Uh, but Google Chrome is the one which has one of the best developer consoles out there. So make sure that if you don't have Google Chrome, download that from the internet. All right, so once we have these tools set up, in the next lecture, let's go ahead and let's learn how we could create our very first React app. So let's learn how to do that in the next lecture.